If you've been keeping up with the channel, you will know that recently I've been struggling to process all of the orders that I need to do. But whilst I was doing my orders today, I realised something. It's not about how many orders I have, it's about the way I do it. And I've always known this, but I'm actually starting to put this into better practice right now. For instance, this is just a small tape wheel. Everybody's seen one of these before. I think I spoke about this in a previous episode. But I can't even explain to you guys how much time this has saved me already today. Previously, it was get the tape, you know, the tape roll itself, roll it up, take the little bit of tape off, cut it, do all that kind of stuff, and roll it all out. Now, get a bit of tape, cut it to size, pull it off, get a bit of tape. It's just so much more efficient. And the same is true for a load of different things, which I'm now doing in this business. Because if I want to do 10 plus orders a day, which I do, that's not going to be possible by doing this at a slow pace. I could possibly do you know, a hundred orders if I have the efficiency worked out. And that's what I've got to improve on going forwards. Now, the next move that I'm going to have to do is stop using a pen. You can see it's already all over my hands, but stop using a pen to write out the orders. I'm going to have to buy a logo printer or a label printer. Right now, I don't have a label printer and I don't have a printer. So I just write them all out by hand. I'm not going to show you that right now because obviously it's going to have people's addresses on it. But that's something that I've been doing and that's not really going to be that efficient anymore. It takes too long. I'm going to have to now invest in a label printer and it might cost a bit of money but this is a thing how much money do these things really cost this tape wheel was like five six pounds i think it was so it's five six pounds that might seem like a lot of money up front obviously it's not a big amount really but it might seem like a big amount to spend on one little item that seems irrelevant this has saved me so much time that now i'll be able to spend probably half as much time packaging items which will improve the entire process of packing items up as a whole and it will, it will save me so much time I'll be able to list more items and probably make more money. In addition to that I've now started actually labeling things on the padding of the mailer or on the packet itself. So what I mean by this is previously I had my items inside it doesn't really matter what they are it doesn't matter at all but I have my items inside and inside of that I have the number on the item and I also have um the mailer which is usually stuffed into a box like this so if you have a look in there it's got all of my packaging equipment i normally get the item find it out of my stock pull out the envelope from there or whatever kind of thing i'm going to ship it in and then send it out that wastes a lot of time now what i do is i simply write it on the packaging i know that this is skew number one if I have SKU number 10, I know it's that from the packaging. So now what I need to do is if I want to, I simply open this packet up. It's obviously unwrapped already, but I open this packet up, make sure it's the item, put it on there, wrap it in the correct envelope on top of this, maybe put in a thank you card and then send it out very, very quickly. So this might seem like a random little video, but the point's simple. I'm talking about making big process innovations. And this is really a vlog for my future self to prove what I'm doing. To improve this business, I think it's things like this which are really going to help me make more sales. Improving the processes now because I like to think I've got the whole listing side of it kind of figured out. I'm not saying I'm amazing with it, but I know what I'm doing. So now it's a case of, well, how could I do more volume if I wanted to? Because it's all well and good saying, you know, I want 100 sales a day or 10 sales a day or 1,000 sales a day. How are you actually going to process that in real time? Like, even if you want to work every single hour under the sun, there's only 12 hours in a day and 24 hours in, well, a full day, a 24 hour cycle. And you've got to sleep, you've got to eat, you should probably do some fun stuff. You don't want to be working more than a nine to five. So how do you make it all work? This is what I have to work on now, being more efficient, keeping my day as short as possible. And this will be done through process innovations. Thank you for watching.